GTR. So from this angle, Wangan Beast, go over the side here, Nismo wheels, you know, the wing, Midnight, Freeway Racer, go over here. Ah, oh, I think this might be, this might be my favorite one here so far. That's cool. So this is a Daihatsu Naked. It's got the aero wheels on it, which I think suit this design very well. And uh, Hololive Subaru. This uh, little Buster's Jimny has been around for a while now. The best part of the custom 3D printed hubcaps. I'm not sure if it's a guy who owns it, it might be, but I, I have seen a girl cosplaying uh, as Normie to go along with this car. That's a new one. There's a UFO catcher in the back. Hey, look. Look, it's on a tracked mode. No, oh, rip off. I want my money back. Oh, here you go, look. There she is. Is that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? It is. Really glad the weather is uh, not too bad today. It's kind of rainy and miserable yesterday. What's interesting about this year that I've noticed from what we've seen so far is that, that there are more minor series than usual on display here compared to usual. Like a lot of sort of one, you know, series that aren't extremely mainstream which is nice to see. It's a simple design for Kanata from Hololive. Also now, because these characters have been out for a while now, we're starting to see variations. See, she normally has short hair, but uh, you know, as they bring out different designs, you know, different designs will catch people's attention and people start to put those on the Itasha instead. Oh, by the way, on the last video, uh, when I said that this was a... Uh, I said it was a German Ehrlichen. Someone corrected me and said that Ehrlichen is actually... Uh, is uh, Swiss. So I retract my statement. See, not all, not all of these cars are, you know, all that full on. You do see Itasha driving in, you know, day-to-day -day traffic reasonably often. Kimetsu no Yaiba. This series is popular all over the world now. So this event is an all Japan event. So we have people from all over the, uh, the country driving up for this. It's the biggest event in Japan every year. There are various uh, regional events like down in, uh, I think it's Nagoya and also down in Kyushu and places like that. He's got the window tint as well, the uh, reflective window tint, which is becoming more popular here in Japan recently. Gloria on Amits. Now I know this car. I've seen this car before at uh, my friend Shino's workshop. And you see how it's four stud? It's because I know that this car is NA. So it's an NA SR20 with uh, two heart Sasara. Two Heart is an ancient uh, dating simulator game. But it was insanely popular. We saw this back at uh, Nagano as well. That's a nice little trim on here. That's cool, that's kind of well thought out. I like that. This is a very popular pose, isn't it? Yeah, see, look, once again. <laughs> Love Live Porsche! Haven't seen this sort of thing before. Okay. It's got the uh, Japanese Panasports on there as well. And uh, giant Nesobedi 
Oh, here's a pose I'll tell you about too. See this one? Where you make like the OK sign and put it on your cheek. That was popularized a while ago by uh, a Japanese talent, which is another word for like, you know, one of the people who appear on TV. And you put your hand there and you go, OK, and you say it really cute. So there's a huge range of cars you can see here. It is an all genre sort of thing, Itasha. It is really about self-expression in its purest sense, whatever you like. Now it's all good here at the Itasha show. Mustangs, K cars, Italian, European, the gentleman. Milady. All right, here you go. Here's everyone's favorite character right now. Right? Sami Maru, we saw this car last time as well. Idol Master Million Live Dark Sailor. So I'm guessing when they say Dark Sailor, I'm guessing they're referring to the, uh, the black school uniform. Like I said before, like with these uh, Idol Master and stuff like that, there's all these little like sub things and events that they do with different characters and yeah. it is an unendingly deep rabbit hole of content. Very time attack style S2000. I kind of need to find out what events these guys go to because I, like the events I go to, I don't see these cars. I'm sort of wondering where, when and where do they go because it's, we, we've seen cars with you know, worn out brake rotors and shredded tires so they are driving them somewhere. Imagine you're driving this and you have an accident and the airbags go off and the, the last thing you see before you die is your waifu's face. Romilia from Toho. Is an Emilia Chevy truck. Yeah, see this sort of graffiti style design has picked up in popularity a bit recently. I think yeah, maybe for the sort of people who'd like to do this sort of stuff but don't necessarily want to make it too, you know, soft and pastel looking like some of these are. Opti Beaks with one of the original uh, VTuber characters, Kizuna Ai. Yuru Camp, yet another anime about high school girls in a club doing something and this time it's uh, going camping. It falls under the category that these days people would call comfy They go camping. Actually, this one's uh, painted. I think I just realized it's not. Wait, this one is. This is a print, but is this painted on? Oh, okay, so the bonnet is actually hand painted. Railgun has some of the most obsessed fans ever. And I think it's safe to say that Misaka is the most popular character on that show. It's a show about, once again, high school kids, but they all have uh, special psychic powers and various sorts of powers. Her special power is that uh, she can electromagnetically launch metal as a weapon. So, as you can see there, like, you know, flipping a coin at someone at uh, hypersonic speed. So, if you look at this Gloria from the back, it just looks like a straight up Yankee style car with the, uh, the old school wing. 
the limousine antenna there, you know, car club Dolce. All right, but then you come out here and it's just full on Itasha. We're back in the Love Live row again, as you can see. The amount of girls are endless. The amount of uniforms and clothes they wear are endless. The combination is endless. You can find your perfect girlfriend within their ranks. Absolutely. Guaranteed. No matter what you like, no matter what your preference, you can find it. If you're sort of curious about what these are, just go look up Love Live. And be, just be prepared though. One of two things happen. You'll either immediately click off or you'll fall down this enormous rabbit hole of videos and things like that. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, this is an old school Alto RSX Works. And it's been fully wrapped. Yeah, this is one of those things I was talking about before, like the accessories that they'd get made up. <laughs> Custom wrapped skis. And I guess this would be a decent car to take to the ski resort. It's small, lightweight, turbo. You wouldn't get stuck in the snow, that's for sure. This is one of her live concerts, and it has the, uh, the YouTube controls there on the window. Now this is a decent effort here. So what he's done is he's wrapped his Pajero in the, uh, in Ise, an actual battleship. And he's also made up this, I'm guessing it's a Honda Ape, up to look like a, it's not a zero. It's some, he's got the, the float plane floats on there as well. It's got the retro Minolta livery. Volk Racing 5 fours with five spoke on the front and four spoke on the rear. And you can see they're upside down, obviously. Actually, I'll flip the video over on YouTube. Volk 5 fours. Corolla wagon. This is the sort of thing that, uh, that a lot of people overseas would like. Oh, the stuff we missed out on overseas. I kind of feel that the more I come to these events, the amount of series that I see that I don't know becomes more and more, I guess, just because more stuff's coming out that I'm not keeping up with like I used to. You know, you have to organize it, and oh, what am I going to watch? And you, know, you dedicate yourself to watching one, and uh, I don't like it, I'm going to drop it. Oh, that was a waste of time. So, I just don't really do it at all. I need an anime concierge service where I can, uh, you know, fill out a form that, to say what I like, the sort of things I like to see, and then I can have stuff recommended to me. And, you know, links sent, so I can just watch them. There's a monitor in the front grill. So the word for these enormous high ass vans is vanning. They've been around for a long time. This has been a popular look since the 1980s. And what they tend to do instead of wraps is more old school airbrushing. And see these characters are all airbrushed on. So as you can see, actual airbrushed artwork. And normally what you get on these uh, big rear gates is you know, pop singers or uh, like Japanese blues singers. But uh, now we have ones with anime characters on them. Now one interesting thing about these as well is uh, a lot of them are diesel, like the uh, diesel hiaces. And what they'll do is they'll run three exhaust pipes to the regular exhaust and one open exhaust. So they cut and weld the manifold. So only one of the pipes comes out as a straight pipe and the rest go through the regular muffler. And the word for that is mani wadi. And uh, mani means manifold, wadi means to cut or to split. So they end up with this really weird bang, 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 bang sound when they go down the streets. So like only one cylinder is firing out and it's a, it's a very unique uh, sound. If I, uh, if I ever get a chance to show you what I mean, I'll, I'll do that on a video. 
I'm honestly surprised that uh, Ayame is not more popular. Ayame is a goofy devil girl in the Hololive universe. See, that's another word you need to know. Gap Moe. Gap Moe. And what Gap Moe means is when you have a character who is supposed to act one way but acts another way, or you know, you have a, a character who is a demon but acts really airheaded and cute. I'm sure there might be a word for it in English, but I can't think of it right now. All right, the time has come to show my Itasha. Here it is. The first Noriero Itasha, my motor compo. The full wrap. Are you ready? It is the Lum Itasha. So this is a series called Urusei Yatsura. Those Annoying Aliens is the official translation. The main waifu on that show is this character here, Lum. She is an, uh, a space demon. So this is the first official Norio Itasha. And um, this will be appearing on the videos from now on. Here, here, I got you. Wait, yeah, that's you. probably a better idea. Yeah. Can you, okay, look at her eye. Uh, oh, that's cool. See how it's like, and, Holographic? Her, and her name? Yeah, it reflects. Oh, okay. See that? That's cool. So at night, like, that would reflect. So uh, this got done right at the last minute. We've got a few things we need to button up on it, but this is it. This is why you put it out here in the open, is because, um, you know, because uh, it's easy to take a photo of and people notice it. And it's right by the food so everyone sees it. All right, this is a uh, Toyota Crown. And this is Jet Set Radio. And he's got uh, the Dreamcast. He's got the Japanese and the overseas version of the game and it was a quite a unique game at the time it was about uh, skating around Tokyo and doing graffiti and uh, you know it caused some problems with people being upset about oh it's encouraging the youth to do graffiti but it's called the Bakakuda Baka of course means idiot chain shifter nitrous and in the back we got Sega Dreamcast a Ural is this a Russian motorcycle? Studio Ghibli theme. Bikes being the budget way to Itasha. Less area to wrap. Yeah, come to think of it, they might not be that much more cheap than a car just because of the odd shapes. I guess the labor cost would be a lot more in these. Ah, we're in the Idol Master section. All right, which is yet another one of those uh, virtual idol groups that has to be on air look how low that is there's no way he drove that in here like that what is twisted wonderland i've heard about it i just don't know what it is uh turns out it's uh it's by disney really turns out it's by disney and it's a game well i guess everyone's uh dipping their toes in the whole uh this world now. You know, you can look at this stuff and laugh, but there's money in it. And look at the amount of cars that are here. And all of them are wrapped. You know, they've all spent thousands of dollars making the cars look this way. And right, once again, horse girls. But this is the, uh, the full URAS. GT kit for the R34. All right, this is interesting too. So we have the Honda Civic Type R. Now, I could be wrong, but I think these were actually built in the UK, even the Japanese ones. So they're built in the UK, and this one has uh, the Jervis character from Kantai Collection, which is a class of British ship. So once again, layer upon layer upon layer of jokes and information that you don't understand unless you actually know. This fair lady. Some of you might know Macross from back in the day. 
and uh, Macross technically a giant uh, robot fighting in space with transforming fighter planes versus aliens anime uh, it always had one particular character or two or three who could sing in it and uh, it slowly evolved into this Volcure and <laughs> ended up like this basically Cresters it's got those fresh works on it too nice this car looks really freshly done fresh VSKFs but these are 19s they did remake the 19s for a while which is probably why they're still so nice looking yeah okay I can see that going sideways Koguchi power wing tail the sticky out exhaust this is good this is good this is maybe my second favorite car so far I'm gonna guess this guy's on the on the payment plan gets one panel done at a time okay this is a bit retro Toppo Nerae Gunbuster. It's the original Gunbuster. There have been remakes of Gunbuster since then. Gunbuster was one of the anime that made a studio called Gainax famous. And Gainax went on to make things like uh, Evangelion. Yeah, there's a bit of a variation in the uh, upscaling of the old artwork but you know they, they do what they can this is that uh, Forza aesthetic where they sort of combine a regular looking car with anime girls over it And it looks filthy down in the footrest, so that's a pretty good sign that it has actually been rallied. Uh, I know a lot about this particular character. This is uh, Healing Good Pretty Cure, and this is Cure Grace, uh, because my kids watch this show. So I know almost everything about this show and these characters, not uh, from my own volition, just because uh, I'm forced to watch this show all the time which um, honestly I don't mind but the fact it's on the uh, what I'm assuming is like a hom homage to the BRE colors is even better nice K11 next to the California style Civic that's oh, left-hand drive that's even more uh, California style than I realized here we go another motor compo uh, let's get let's get some ideas these tires with the little footprints on them seem to be the most popular these days for the motor compo now uh, the tires on my motor compo uh, i looked them up they're technically i think for motorized wheelchairs so they have good uh, load rating but i don't know about their speed rating this one's done up in uh, corone colors all right fubuki once again so this little hand signal she's doing here is like a hand fox. Once again, we saw this uh, JZX 100 Mark II at the show in Nagano. And I saw him driving home on the expressway afterwards. Uh, it uh, looks very low out in the street. 34s kind of suit Itasha for some reason, don't they? What do you think? Something about the shape of them kind of, kind of suits it. So it's done pretty well. So once again, this is a, another 34 with the full URAS body kit. The two door instead of four door. I think this one's called the URAS GT style with the um, GT style box fenders. I really like it. The design's cool. I, I like the, you know, sort of this sort of popping off the bonnet look. This uh, pose, you see how it's got the the highlights, like the highlights on her skin. It's it looks more real, like it suits uh, this this kind of lighting on the character design makes it look like she's outdoors, which is obviously where you're gonna see these. Like if you compare that to like this kind of face, it's just kind of more of a flat shade. Whereas this looks like she's outdoors. 
This is really good. Oh yeah, four door Integra by the way. All right, so this die hats is fairly interesting. The character on it is Kiryu Koko, who is a graduated Hololive VTuber. Now when they say graduated, uh, there's various uh, meanings of that word. It either means they quit or they were forced to quit. Are right, you ready? That's, uh, he's put a lot of work into this car, that's for sure. Triple throttle bodies on the engine. Polka on the MR2. It's got uh, R32 GTR wheels as well. Speaking of uh, popular VTubers, Horsho Marin. Definitely one of the most popular. On the last video I described her as being a horny pirate and a lot of the comments agreed with me that that's a good way of describing her. More Mia Fuji. Here's the one we saw in Nagano. This is what I was talking about before. Cars with uh, you know, all the extra accessories to match the design on the car itself. See snowboard. This is also a Daihatsu SA. Look at this interior. <gasps> wow. It looks like a, a cabaret lounge. Where do you order this material? Oh, look, the, the sills are done with uh, the kimono style material as well. Yeah, okay. CB radio. Well, I think because uh, it's meant to, this is what the inside of a Dekotoro looks like those big decorated trucks they they trim out the interiors like this so it's sort of a homage to that which is why it's got the CB so once again a bit of a crossover there with uh, trucking culture tuning cars and anime interesting Smokey and the otaku on this Trans Am it's clean too either this has been restored or it's been very well looked after it's only 38,000 miles on it do the odometers in these only have five digits? Good old Pontiac Trans AM. Here at the uh, the show with all this stuff. Oh, this is more my, my speed. I haven't looked at an engine like this for a while. Oh, you got a six boost manifold. <laughs> It's got that chop. Okay, this is uh, an interesting one. I've seen this on Instagram before, but I've never seen it IRL. Can anyone guess what this is? Now, the front is kind of obviously a JZX100, right? Actually, if, if I show this, does that make it obvious? Also, if I show this, does it make it obvious? Yeah, it's a Mazda Roadster with a JZX100 front on it with a full Tom's Castrol Supra Miku crossover. Benz really does suit the Weds Kranzas. Yeah, this looks like the sort of car that Togo would drive. I'm kind of surprised this Evo is buried all the way down here because it's the right side. It's got that burnt orange sort of gold look to it. And left side, a purple look to it. So this is uh, from a series called Ikitosen. And the, uh, the split tint is definitely a look. I like this, the girls in Panzer. Uh, Swift, I think it is. Done up in the R32 GTR Group A style. By the way, we have a video coming up where we uh, look at Keiichi's Group A GTR up close. And there we go, here's a roof accessory. Yeah, Itasha go kart. It's 
Missing the engine though. Oh, all right, so that's all for me today at the Itasha show. It was good to be in the show for once and not just cover it. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go to other Itasha shows now because we have one to enter. So once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>